welcome to Z Podcast. I'm your host, Alex Scooby, along with my favorite person in the world, Wayne Hanna. He is my partner in crime. We are Zen AF Podcast. You can find us on Apple. Uh, you can find us on Spotify. You can find us on Google. You can find us everywhere. You can even find us at our website, which is zenafpod.com. Hi, Wayne. Hi, buddy. You can find us at deanblendell.com, too. And Dean Blundell, so that's exciting news. We just switched over yeah. from Podbean to Megaphone, and uh, we are on the Dean Blundell network over there. So we're very excited about that. It's a whole new vibe. Uh, it's like a whole, it's like a Disney movie, but like on ice. But the ice is half melted, and they're all high on mushrooms. Yeah, they're well. I think they're, uh, I think they're microdosing. I don't know if they'd be. I don't know, complete. I, did I tell you what? I bought my oh, yeah. capsules. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Psilocybin. <laughs> That's getting right into it. We don't need to go there right now. Listen, everybody, there's a lot of changes. We're going to have, we're going back to the video. We're on uh, in, in an entirely new um, online studio at Restream, and it's insane. I feel like a television producer. Yeah, this is pretty wild. I'm looking at stuff here, and I'm trying to figure out how to uh, uh, pop up. Uh, something that I want to show for those people who watch on YouTube. Uh, I'm not sure how I do that, but, um, you know, I don't know. So, but we're going to figure it out. Hi, Wayne Hanna here, scholastic um, god of Restream. I went through it. <laughs> I've stayed up a couple late nights going through this bad boy, and I can explain that to you. It's if, you know, if you want, mm -hmm. maybe not. Yeah, right yeah, now, yeah. Show, no, show me because I want to. That would be boring as that would be boring as fuck. But that's can, boring as fuck. Let's not even do that. Let's get into everything else. Well, so, I mean, yeah. you don't want that part of the podcast. I know. You know. You know. So, um, so what's been going on? I want to talk about a few things, but what's been going on with you? Anything, anything to note? Uh, I'm going to be on breakfast television, Toronto on Monday. This, if you're driving and it's before 8 48 AM Eastern standard time, Monday, January the 17th. Um, when episode gets twenty or episode twenty three gets released on some of the platforms and then never on other ones, but um, <laughs> so you're going to be on the show. Yeah, it's deep, so it's dubbed the saddest day of the year, and oh. they want me to come on there and to. I'm not sure if it's to show what sadness looks like in a forty two year old man or to inspire others with my positive message that I have. Okay, and what's the show called? breakfast television breakfast television this is exciting though i'm going to give you a little yeah because that's really right good now. man that's really good um and you're going to talk about the podcast of course yeah if they yeah for sure um i'm going to pump it, gonna pump it. they're going to ask me a question and i'm going to totally just negate that podcast talk wow. that'd be a great question to send into zen a podcast and ask me there that would be. What about um, you, so, man? Like you're doing stuff. You've got all your back and uh, back in LA, back in Los Angeles. Uh, you know, rehearsing for the play, of course. Uh, doing that almost every day. Today, I have today off and tomorrow off, which I'm very excited about. And then, uh, you know, what's funny is I'm sitting here about to tell my story, and Wayne is looking out his window, waiting for Domino's Pizza. It just so that's up. day. Yeah, that's my camera went off, but I want to hear your story. Well, here's the thing: go get your pizza. And, you know, we'll have to, you know, just go get your pizza. Listen to the soothing sounds of Alex Scooby as Wayne Hanna goes and gets his fatty pill. Hey, guys. Have you ever felt not so fresh? Well, that, okay. See, what you guys was Wayne's doorbell and, 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 and he yelled. And now he's going to get a pizza. I wonder if we could hear him chewing it. Maybe maybe sticking a slice down his, you know, fat throat hole. I didn't mean fat. I didn't mean like that. That's not what I meant. That is not what I meant. But I hear some. I hear some rustlings going on in the back. Here he is. He's sitting down. What do we have here, Wayne? What is it? I'm doing this. I don't even care. Wayne, put his fucking headphones on because he can't hear a word I'm saying right now. I'm ruining her podcast. Yeah, he's totally ruining our podcast. We got some weird disco beat in the background, and I want to see what pizza he's got. Oh my god, man! I'm so did I ruin our podcast? I think you did. What did you? What kind of pizza did you get? 
I'm so disappointed in myself right now for taking off while we're trying to do this and then in ordering this pizza probably weighs 15 pounds. Yeah, but you know, you order Domino's. That's a lot like cardboard. No, not this Domino's. This is all farm to table, my friend. <laughs> that's what they, that's what they liar. pride themselves in. You fucking liar. Hey, tell me your story, man. I'm so sorry. I feel like a douche. You are a douchebag. So, um, so anyway, so last night uh, I had a friend come over and we were hanging out and we we're just, you know, talking about life and stuff. And I realized that like life is so short. My friend is the same age as, and I just realized this last night, he's the same age as my mom was when she passed. Yeah, it's crazy when you can put age into perspective, man. My like, God. You, yeah. Yeah, it, where and and your initial is where does it go? Like, I've lived this thrive. It like you go through so many ups and downs. So it's it's a blip in time. It's so weird, man. Like everything is just so weird. And then we have like these, you know, we have we have friends that we meet along the way, and we have you know, there's people that we we get rid of in our lives, which we have talked about, and you know, it's just why when you look back, like most of my family. You know, my mom, sisters, well, one of her sisters still alive, but her brother, her, my grandma, my aunts, they're all gone. And it's wild to me. It's just, it's just wild, man. You know? But I think those are, those are kind of those moments. I've been on this big kick recently about the universe. And you kind of got me on the universe thing when we first met. That's one of the, yeah. one of the things I fell in love with about you, that and your, your steely, um, blue eyes. I have, I have my eyes are hazel, by the way. Right, but like when the sun hits them, just right there, blue. But anyways, what I was, where I was going with that, till you rudely <laughs> interrupted me, was when oh. we talk about no, but when we talk about the universe, yeah. you look at the pandemic two years ago when it hit. For that first month, <clears throat> I feel like we slowed down. Everybody slowed down mm -hmm. throughout the globe. Just for yeah. even for a couple of weeks, the energy that stopped moving that day or that couple of weeks while everybody stopped, that was that had to have a massive effect on where this planet is going next. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah. Oh my it's, god. It's 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 bigger than it's bigger than a pandemic. Does it suck? Yes. And do I want to leave everybody with a quick warning to not jump back into a normal life? Take your time. Because if you jump back in, it'll be catastrophic. But man, this such there's something there's something that's coming from this. There's something. I'll tell you what. It's wild what you were just saying because uh, you know just, you know don't jump jump back into a normal life. Well, okay. So I'm like like you know I'm back in the theater, right? So we're rehearsing like nothing's going on, and, and that this play is just going to to you know welcoming audiences, but we have no idea. I mean. Oh, we have no idea if we're going to open. Like we're we're like so March in March we're supposed to open, you know, world premiere of this play. And like, well, we hope we don't work our asses off for this month and a half, you know, almost two months, and then nothing, and then we just yeah. we can't open because there's some kind of new crazy crazy shit, you know. No, yeah. no, I hear you, but I I think that I think that it's going to take a while for everything to come around but i do think you know in the next five years there's going to be some pretty significant and fantastic changes too if you think about it think about this um you know when we come out of when we say history repeats itself we come out of this we go into i feel like we're going to kind of go back into that late 60s hippie era woodstock kind of vibe and if you think about it it's just going to be more commercialized because all of those hipster style people are coming out. There's a lot of hippies coming out in the world, which is wicked. Mm -hmm. They talk about psychedelics like they did back in the day. Music is becoming a thing. More independent artists are coming out with through all the social media, TikTok and stuff. I feel like it's going to be, there's either going to be a revolution or we're just going to, I don't know. I don't want to think of the alternative, man. Well, I mean, is it going to, do you think it'll be like free love, no condoms, everyone gets herpes and then maybe like a shank on their lip? I mean, what do you think? That's, I mean, if you look at the big picture, yeah. Shank on the lip, I think that's a stretch. Yes, yeah. Bless me. you. Sorry. Oh, Bless my God. You. I love when Harmon, I love when Harmon sneezes. He looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, hi. Hey, everyone. I'm back. <laughs> he 
<laughs> with my short little arms. <laughs> So, look, if we do go back to kind of hippie fucking, you know, uh, patchouli smelling fucking, I fucking hate patchouli, man. I, I, I can't, I can't tell you what the scent of patchouli does to me when I smell it. You can't even rehearse what just happened here. For everybody that listens, if this doesn't, if this doesn't show you that him and I are so intact, I literally today, because I had a massage called a Lomi Lomi, <laughs> which was an absolute delicious experience experiment yeah. delicious with a quick with a quick hand release at the bottom with a quick oh. hand release yeah and no 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 none of that um, oh, oh oh but um and a very spiritual person so i sent in the text because they asked about allergies and stuff i said oh um i like to tell all spiritual humans that are a part of my life um no patchouli in my house please <laughs> i had to put it out there oh like, my god yeah. i you know and I what can't people put that shit on their skin and go oh i smell look good first of all it's you know not you healthy like? you smell like pepper and you smell like a fucking some kind of like almost like a like an old di it's like diaper. like a mustard like a mustard that sat in a car in the sun for a month yeah it's like what like a kid took a shit onto a mustard patch ladies love it though ladies love it and I'll no way. There's no way women love that smell. I swear to God. Now, here's the thing. I, I compare patchouli oil to like, um, what's that other? What's cilantro? That's like, oh, the, the old coriander. Coriander. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. known that for three weeks and I three weeks to popping that out. <laughs> the old coriander. I get that. I get that there's some health benefits behind essential oils. I get that people need to take care of themselves. I'm the epitome of fitness and like nutrition. You're eating dominoes the one while thing, we talk. Holy shit, Wayne. Yeah. Uh, I got more vegetables and mine was the handmade one. Pan. They don't hand make shit at Domino's. Yeah, do they they? Do. Come on, mm -hmm. man. You know what I just made before we got on? I was going to tell Italian, you. I that's why made. I got this. I'm not fucking Italian, but I love cooking Italian food. I cooked my favorite mac and beef. So what I, but I didn't use beef. I used turkey. And what I did was I browned the turkey, added garlic, a little bit of garlic powder too, added some onion, browned it all up, put some tomatoes in there, let it kind of cook down, got the macaroni, put it all together, a little Parmesan cheese, bada boom, fucking bing, bing, bing. You know, those are the best, those are the best home cooked meals on the planet. That oh, yeah. shepherd's pie, stuff like that. But those Italian dishes like that, oh, yeah, because you, you, you get that the basil through the house and the guy, listen yeah. to me, I'm getting garlic. An and I've had, I had the one piece garlic. of pizza over here, and we're like, yeah, and you get all this, this, garlic. Jab, like, going, the garlic, now you fucking garlic. <laughs> now, garlic. Yeah. Is not to be confused with Gaelic, right? Because Gaelic an Irish thing. It's also in West Hollywood, but Gaelic is garlic, with without the R, because people say Gaelic. Hey, you like Gaelic bread? Hey, hey, you hey. like? Hey, do you like? Do you like Gaelic and and cilantro? No, neither did I. And if you said you did, I'd knock you upside the fucking head. <laughs> I'd put two teeth on the back of your fucking throat. You know what I mean? I will knock your fucking mouth loose. <laughs> I will fucking take my fish, shove it straight up your ass, rip your lungs out through your bunghole, motherfucker. I will jump down your throat <laughs> faster than a sewage operator in the Lower East Side on a Thursday afternoon when he's due to get off and he's been fighting with his girlfriend all day because he thinks that she's sleeping with the guy that lives in apartment 2C and all the... Hey, you want to know what I'm going to do? Hey, one last thing, just so you know... If you keep this shit up, I'm going to throw you down you in front of all your friends. Yeah, and you know what I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to like it. What? To stop. I'd like it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh you anyway, know I, you know <laughs> I I have to say something to you. I have to say yeah, something go ahead. to you. You say you, a lot of things to me. I'll just add it to the well, pile. The thing about you, I was trying to figure you out um, the other day because oh, you, had you a, can't you, fucking figure out a wizard. No, I dude. figured that out. Um, I figured that out. You cannot figure out Alex. But however, the other day, he didn't have the greatest day. Like it was just one of those days, like you described it, or just a shitty thing after another shitty thing. But it was all irrelevant stuff. But it's just enough to mm -hmm. piss you off for the day. 
Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. you know what, Alex? You're misunderstood. Passionate, but misunderstood. I look, I'm passionate about being misunderstood. Do you see what I mean? And that's see how deep Zen you just is thought? I don't Do know what else is Zen. Yeah, well, that was mindful. I'm fucking deep. That was mindful. I'm ish. It was mindful ish, yeah. right? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for one word answer with Wayne Hanna. This, this is, I have this right in front of me, this article, and I have to put this up. I'm going to figure out how to do that. Here is the headline, Wayne. I just need one word. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, Ready? Get the, you got it? What? That got what? You put it up? How? Oh, wow. where do I put it? Wow. Hit the plus sign. Clips, background, overlay. Logo, where? No, you, I don't know. You hit the plus sign across the bottom. It's it's all right. I don't. Oh, you know what? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something here. Background music, local video, RTMP source. I have no idea what that means. I'm not gonna click. I'm not gonna take any of these because I'm just gonna give you this. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. No, London. Wait. Stop. London YouTuber claims to have been abducted by aliens and fallen in love with one of them. Smashing. <laughs> you know no, what I'm... Seriously, no, honestly, it's downright smashing. Here she is. It's downright smashing. Things like Here that. Is. Here she is. Yeah, I, I fucking see it. Yeah. Listen, listen, so... <laughs> listen. When you have, uh -huh. when you have an opportunity like that to get fucking sucked up into the cosmos and then fall in love. I mean, oh, that's mate, beautiful. that's fucking right. If you like, where's, fucking, you, where's you? Where's you? You fucking you and, know. And what's the, uh, um, you know, from nine months old or whatever. whatever. If you fucking, if you have more take on people, you will go for fuck five. You're all right. Right. Don't, don't you think? <laughs> I wish Are there was a, an app. I'm going to come out and share. I, I got to say something. I got to say something, say something right now. Wayne, watching Wayne. I'm sitting here hungry. And I'm watching Wayne smash a fucking pizza all to himself. He just goes one piece after the other, just throwing it down That's his fucking his throat loose, dude. That like was his my fucking second piece, and I'm dizzy from it. His fucking like gum tunnel. Sweating. He's fucking hey. sweating. He's sweating, and then he's talking about health. Oh, how's the um? Yeah, I got to get my shit together because I've got like less than two months until I come to. Uh... To, uh, LA, are North. you gonna wear a fuck? Are you gonna put, wear your bikini or no? Yeah, thong. I hope. Most likely. What would you I would, do? I would do. I would do that. I would wear a thong and smash Domino's pizza wearing it. Oh my god! It, best decision I made. You Wait, know what? What are you I, drinking? I'm drinking a very expensive glass of red wine. Wait, you're it's mixing. I'm celebrating mixing Domino's. Pizza with wine i think see so many here I'm you're kidding. actually slamming it that's not no i'm wine. not i'm taking you're little tiny sip. i'm not chugging it it's one bottle and a straw <laughs> <laughs> it's nine o'clock in the morning wayne like what the? <laughs> i woke up this morning and my wife was not in bed with me and i was like uh oh what happened and we met up in the kitchen uh, later that morning, she told me that I was pouring so loud that she went into the bedroom and it was going, it was coming through the walls. Like she, she couldn't fucking get away from my. And that's what happens, maybe ladies I... and gentlemen, when you do one too many shots of tequila. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I should get an Airbnb. I'm hovering around snoring weight again. Mm -hmm. I put it back on. I usually do. Are this you? Is the time. Yeah. Usually like February, I look at myself, I cry a little bit, and then I go lose 30 pounds. Basically, my 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 regime is very <laughs> unhealthy for my heart. Uh, well, I got to tell you something. I'm getting my blood work done on Monday. I have a physical on Monday, and I'm going to see where I'm at because I don't feel completely heavy, but I know that I... I'm going to have to, oh, well, I'm just going to have to see what the numbers are for those Dude, good old good, trip this ride. Oh, but thank you, Wayne. Well. You know what? You look good too, man. You do. You look good. Yeah, but you know what? When I say I'm like, you look good, I look at you. I'm like nodding my head. You look good. And you do like the shoulder shrug, like, ah, you know, mm. it's like, no, I no. I just pictured us. I wish we still did the animation because I just pictured us in Da Nang. 
right? 1968, right? You're you're a lance corporal. I'm a sergeant. You're older than me, but you got drafted late. The Huey no, just dropped us. I'm a fucking. I'm like the captain. And I get of shot. captains. You're not. Why do you gotta stop? Your no, ego? because I'm the captain of captains, Wayne. I lead with my ego. You told you're, me. You taught me that. I know I taught you that, but I'm taking it back. Why? Because <laughs> it hurts my feet. <laughs> you're feeling no. But listen, you're, one feeling. <laughs> you're in Viet, we're in Vietnam. I get shot. I get shot, and and I'm like bleeding out, and I'm like, is is it bad? It's a bad scoop. That would be your nickname over there. And you'd have a peace sign and a pack of Marlboros. But they'd be soggy wet. You wouldn't care. Yeah. You'd be all, you'd be like uh, trying to wet a soggy cigarette. Meanwhile, shooting, shooting uh, enemy with your pistol. Get out oh, of here. Oh, yeah. Which yeah, pistol, yeah. though? My pant you, pistol? No, no. Just uh, just your nine millimeter Beretta. And okay. I'm like, is it bad scoop? And you're like, no, nah. no, man. <laughs> <laughs> your lungs are hanging out. <laughs> yeah. your lungs are hanging out like i'm i'm holding your intestine in my hand and i'm like not at all you're gonna be fine stay with me wayne stay with me meanwhile in the back of my head i'm like can you just die already i'm hungry you know what i mean <laughs> are you going for your fourth slice already huh? third, That's great. third i have three what's on that pizza oh Listen. my god mm. tell us hang on oh because your yeah. mouth's mm -hmm. stuffed with fucking food right now how do you not get heartburn? How do you not get heartburn eating that pizza and then red wine? I would have heartburn in, in with, within minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna have heartburn. What? <laughs> I'm, most definitely, I'm most definitely gonna have heartburn. I'm probably gonna have some chest pain later and wonder if I'm having a heart attack and then contemplate while I lie in bed at 9 30 how I should change my life and get healthier and then wake up in the morning and do it all over again. I'm like fucking Bill Murray and Groundhog Day with my health. Well, meanwhile, okay, I'm looking over in Los Angeles, and he's <laughs> fit as a fiddle, sticking to his word, following through. Look at me. I'm mindful. Fuck you, Alex Scooby. I never said I was mindful. I said I'm mindful-ish, <laughs> like you. So here's the thing. I want to talk to you about this. So last night, uh, I was having some boozes with my wife, and I said to her, I confess something, which is wild. I confess that I spend the majority of my day what I'm going to eat and if I should eat it. Now, let me break that down for you. What I mean by that is this. I have such a food brain that I drive myself insane with choices. I went to a sandwich the other day. I walked up to the, you know, the, this little sub shop and I'm looking at the meatball sandwich. That's all I want. I just want the meatball sandwich. But by the time I got up to order, my brain had said, that's not healthy. I got the turkey sandwich. But these cases, they go through my head all the time, constantly thinking about fucking food. And I don't know if it's like a, some kind of neurosis or what, but it's fucking weird. It's fucking weird. I think your brain thinks what it wants. Yeah, but all the time? Food? There could be worse things, Alex. Yeah, it could be murder. Like, I can't wait you know to murder what? someone the else. Only, the only bad thing I see from that is that you've been thinking about food, and I've been eating the food you're thinking about, and you're still eating healthy. So, <laughs> ah. uh, Oh, today, I'm making the mac and beef. Guess what I did? I was there. I saw the beef, the ground beef, and I was like, oh, I fucking want that. Good. You know what I got? I got the 99% lean fucking turkey. That's what I did. Good for, good, good for you. It's a good choice to make. I mean, I'm proud of you. You're drunk. He's drunk. He's <laughs> over there. He's hammered. <laughs> it's hot proud of you. One, I'm proud one, of you. I'm having one glass of wine, people. One more, more glass of wine. He's going to start crying. I guarantee. We're talking about you know something that happened. And in, and, and in 1991, <laughs> when I was just a boy. Um, you know what? I'll talk about something that people have been crying about a lot, and it's been on my mind. Uh, but before I do that. I'm going to uh, introduce you to a game that I really, really love. I just want to say something real quick before we start it. Um, yeah. I need to be friends with Sebastian Bach. <laughs> there, I said it. The musician? Oh, the singer, yeah, from Skid Row. I follow him on Instagram, and I really think we should be friends. He doesn't live too far from where I am. And I tell you, I don't know if that's ever going to happen. But, you know, you never know. <laughs> so a couple of years ago i got this game and it's called ducking high oh my yes 
it might be the most fun game I've ever played in my life. And the reason I'm bringing it out is just because you draw a random card. Now, let me get this right. It, there's there's a question side, and then there's a just a mind fuck side. So it's perfect. It's perfect for what we do. You know. Yeah. So I pulled. Fuck. What do you want? Do you want a question first or a mind fuck first? Mind fuck. Mind fuck. I want to be mind fucked. Could you please mind fuck me, Wayne? Alex Scooby. Yes. Listeners. Oh my God, I'm excited. Like I'm literally like shaking. I'm like, if you, if you were incapable of farting. Oh God. How would you prove it to your friends? (laughs) Oh my God. Oh my God. How? Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. If I was incapable of farting, how would I prove it to my friends? My uh, I don't think you're supposed to answer it. I don't think I have an answer. I don't even think I have an answer. That doesn't, it doesn't even... I'd say, hey, smell my breath. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, smell my breath. I don't fucking know. How do you, what do you say? I remember I used to... I thought I had irritable bowel syndrome. This is a true story. This is a vulnerable moment with me. He's saying this by while he's slamming more pizza. Go ahead. No, I know. No, totally. My mind does not match my habits at all. Um, but no, I did. I because but I would I would like get nervous gas. Did you ever get nervous gas? Or yes. I'd go out for yeah. So you I'd be on like a first date, go to a mm-hmm. movie. I'm like 16 years old. Mm-hmm. And like the whole movie, I'm just in the theater holding it in and you hold it in and you're like oh and it's almost making you sick to your stomach and then the second they get out of the car and they close the door you just Uh unleash this fear it's like a 15 second oh yeah thunder bomb oh yeah right wayne wayne i used to just fart in front of whoever you wanted yeah it didn't matter and and i still you know here's something wild like my wife had her, her family was in town they're over the house. I'm sitting in my comf- comfy position on the couch watching some my, my favorite true crimes, my detective stories, right? And her father and her <laughs> brother-in-law. <laughs> and I'm like, it's my house. So, two questions. Mm-hmm. Question number one. Yeah, do you think that, you think that, okay, here, here's a, here's a question for the masculine energy side. I say it like okay. that now, cleaner. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, good would you fart? Would you that. fart? Would you? Would you fart in another? Would you fart in another human's house? Yes, I. Oh, like if you came over to my house and we're just hanging out, like would you just free, free, free bird that shit? Well, I don't. Probably, I don't know. Or, or I would, I would do it, and hopefully it wasn't loud. I try to like just suppress it a little bit like you know when you could do that thing with your asshole where you kind of just squeeze it and just and then like kind of let it go where it's more like then like you like microdose it out just little bits at a time yeah wink 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 and then sometimes just by accident because you've had too many things inserted in your buttocks um sometimes they just fall out so uh i wanted to bring up um anxiety uh, you know, everyone, you know, usually has some form of, you know, mild and they pay no attention to it, or it's, you know, off the charts and they're, you know, under a cover bed crying because they can't breathe. Uh, I've had all forms of it. I have dealt with anxiety my entire life. Um, I medicated it a long, for a long time using uh, Xanax or Valium, uh, all prescribed. Um, uh, I am now on Lecro, which think it helps i'm not sure anymore but i did get off of xanax uh quite a while now 10 months something like that i eight, i don't know exactly how long but uh, i have only used xanax maybe two or three times in that time span where i normally use it twice a day so that's pretty good um how about you wayne what do you so i I have I have anxiety just from listening about your anxiety now. I I I went into this general anxiety disorder. Now I got yours as well. Because you, you don't. I wasn't even. I blown away because you said I liked how you described it, and I think a lot of people need to hear it like that. 
A lot of people need us to defluff yep. the clinical shit and to, to lose how doctors say, I'm not saying that that's wrong. I believe in it. However, you need to hear it that way too. Like just that's the nitty gritty of anxiety. And I have dealt yeah. with it my entire life. When I medicated for it, that was the first time I've ever felt normal. I was, I was like not worrying about or overthinking about the most mini, minuscule thing. And I was like, what, 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 what? this is normal this is how it feels <clears throat> but now it's coming back and i think it has to do with some of the shit that you know has been going on in my life but i'll tell you why it's coming it's coming back lately man my what? daughter well because my daughter's getting older and she's starting to like be more independent and i'm not as important anymore so my anxiety shoots. that happens man yeah that that happens you know we were talking about this yesterday wayne and i he was you know he was talking about his daughter and she's like staying you know she was staying in bed a little later uh you know doing her thing and for a second he was like it's me she hates me and, and i'm like wayne it has nothing absolutely zero to do well, is it because it's I it's about, we're divorced you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah that years later no i you know yeah. but that's the thing it's like the same way man i mean like i remember when my daughter started getting more you know uh, and my son of course has done that over the last few years and stuff and it's it's interesting it's like they need you for the stuff they used to although they still want you to get a yogurt out of the fridge yeah i don't get that like this whole <laughs> and i'm trying to police it better but like I'm literally, I, yeah. I wait on this kid hand and foot. And I think that's my responsibility, but like I'm bringing her, I bring my daughter breakfast in bed at least four of the seven days she's with me at a time. See, that's, that's wild. I mean, but also because you're not in a relationship, right? You're not in a, uh, a relationship with a woman right now. So, right. you know, you can kind of focus it on your daughter but and i get but i guarantee you that once you do get into a relationship whenever that may be that you know you, you try to look at your kids and go okay you know you go get you could make your own cereal it's just pour it in a bowl and then the milk and that's pretty much it you don't have to turn on the burners and and, and you know saute garlic so you know i mean it's interesting it's like you, you give too much and then with your kids and then it's they can turn into you know you know people who are dependent kind of stuff i always liked kids were were kind of in independent i mean they had to live for a long time which which would have you know that probably caused a lot of that but you know yeah my daughter's playing yeah. me I, I i get what you're saying but my child is playing <laughs> me she cooked me an entire hello fresh meal from scratch with minimal help from me very few questions yeah. And quite like a meal that you needed to spend time on. And um, yet she to asked me to cut her pancakes this morning because I don't know how. It depends on the hour of day when they want to, how they want to terrorize you. <laughs> you know, and there's a small window in there. That's where she attention, just, man. That's yeah. Listen, I'm, it's, we're recording. It's Thursday, the 13th of January. My son is 18 yeah. years old tomorrow whoa adult wow happy birthday man that's great birthday to your son that's cool yeah that's really so, cool I mean, man like my son's gonna be 20 got... next month it's fucking crazy like and listen i i didn't have it's the opportunity crazy. to raise my son you know so that but, but you know the relationship yeah. that we built over the last you know five or six years has been okay and uh, I, I'm proud of yeah. where he's come in the short amount of time. You know, he's he's becoming a man. Uh, he's got some mistakes yeah. that he needs to make. And but th that's that's the shit, man. Like you need to make those mistakes. You do. Of course, of course. You do. You know, it's wild. So you know, back to the anxiety thing. It's like I remember. I remember the first time I had a panic attack. The first time ever noticed anxiety and i was driving my mother's minivan in new jersey and i was i was in a high school at the time no i had graduated high nope i was still in high school i was like 16 and i pulled up to a stop stop sign and all of a sudden out of nowhere it felt like the air was sucked out of the world i couldn't breathe 
there was like, it felt like I was under, uh, the best way I could describe it is I felt like I was under a piece of glass in a pool and I couldn't push through the glass to get out of the pool. And I was drowning. It was the most intense feeling I've ever had. And later on, I, I found out that was called acute anxiety. Something, some, there was a trigger that set me off. I don't know what it is to this day. Um, but I dealt with those kind of panic attacks for pff, fucking years. I mean, I haven't had one of those in a couple of years, but Jesus, dude. Oh my God. It's yeah. Like, but it's those moments, man. Like you can you remember. Watch, yeah. Isn't it crazy that you can remember in such detail, a moment like that. And you know, yet in the moment that you're having that moment, you can't give yourself grace because you know that's just a part of life. Like that's the control that anxiety has on your brain that when you have a flare up or a or whatever you call it, like you you can't you can't yeah. reason, you can't reason with yourself. You can't just be like this is acute anxiety. No. You it's it's a complete takeover and it, it's funny that there's still this stigma around medication when like you don't want to live with that shit, man. You don't want to live with anxiety if, no. as much as you will still always have those moments. It'll always take less to, to set us yeah. off but because anxiety is there. But the older you get, they're powerful. But the older you get, they're not so external. Back in the day when we were probably in our late teens and our 20s and probably into our early 30s, mid-30s, you would lash out like you would have almost like a temper tantrum. You know, like you would, uh, for yeah. me anyways, I would lash out at other people, like get mad and I'd be very uh, vocal and animate about all the shit that I'm going through, you know, and, and I would, I would say that's the victim mentality a bit. And I think you have to go through that as well. So I don't feel bad about it, you know, but the older you get now, when I have those moments, I don't take them out on other people. I don't even take them out on myself. I kind of just sit with them and I just, I'm like, I'm fucking low. I'm low and yeah. I'll try to get out of it. And if somebody like engages with me, I'll, be, I'll pour, oh, I'll just, you know, but for the most part, man, I keep the shit to myself now, which is good. Yeah. You know, I have, it is uh, my whole thing dealing with anxiety later on in life, you know, was to talk about it. So if I felt I was having gonna or I was in the midst of a panic attack and I wasn't right, I didn't feel right. My body didn't feel right. My heart was pounding. I would, you know, I would, um, I would tell whoever I was with that, look, I'm having an anxiety attack right now. I'm, I get through this. So it also relieved the pressure on me to of having it right. So I would talk about it, and I'd feel a lot better. Just I started feeling expressing how i was feeling in that moment right uh, i don't you know now like okay so this morning i was having a little anxiety not like not like you you know not like the big ones but i was having anxiety and i was like you know what? i'm gonna meditate and i meditated uh today's the second day in a row and because i went away from it for went away from it for about two months i haven't meditated dude it's such a gift i'm gonna say it again it's a oh. gift it's a gift Meditate, man. Dude, you know, I, 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 you, oh, what did I do? Oh, geez, I'm trying to learn this thing. Listen, man, I did this whole, um, met, I went down this whole meditation rabbit hole when you were, when you were getting me into Deepak Chopra to the point where he's who I have to meditate with at night or during the day. I tried that Dr. Joel DePazio, I, and I, sorry, I'm saying his name right, wrong, but, um, I, or Dispenza, Joel, Joe Dispenza, doctor, he's, he's a yeah, powerful, yeah. anyways, I'm telling you, you, you said to me the other day, you're like, yeah, I meditated. So I have, I, every night again, I started meditating. And today when I did that Lomi Lomi massage, which is like a Hawaiian, yeah. it's a very aggressive massage, but it's, it's all, it's centered around the way she was, man. I, my hat goes off to this lady. She's a very spiritual human being. She's got a lot of like cool energy to her. And she was introduced to me by a friend of mine. And I had been trying to schedule this massage for a while. She comes over, sets up. She even like, she, it's all about the vibe and she burnt some sage and you know, she, it was really cool. 
And I went in, I was under a sarong thing and she, it was a silent massage with meditative music. And for an hour oh, I plus, love that. I just, and I've never experienced, I, when she left, I was like weekly, I will pay you weekly for that experience because yeah. it leveled me out so much. It brought me down probably 15 octaves because man, I woke up this morning. Here's another thing. I woke up this morning. Sorry, I'm ranting, but um, you know how when you want to get back into fitness, you'll be like, fuck, I just, I need to get back in the gym. I need to work out. You know, like, mm -hmm. yeah. I woke up this morning and I was like, I've been pacing a lot around my house during the day. Maybe I should go work out and move that energy. Like, I'm not looking at things that same way anymore. Dude, exercise. First of all, exercise. I'm not like fucking beefhead world, but I'll tell you what, man. Exercise is I'll one of my biggest good. battles against against anxiety. That energy, that pent up energy, especially in the mornings. Like I work out in the morning. When I get up, I have a cup of coffee, and then I right away work out after my shit. I work out because if I don't do it in the morning, I'm not gonna do it at all. Plus, it yeah. sets my brain up for the rest of the day. Once I do do my exercises and I work out, I find I have more energy throughout the day where I will, you know, do some cleaning around the house. I'll go, you know, take, pick up, pull, pull weeds in the backyard, all that stuff. If I don't exercise and I go like a week, which I normally don't do, but if I do, I'm lazy. I get lazy. I get, you know, kind of complacent, just kind of like whatever, fucking whatever, you know. So it's good for mental health too, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? I could. Yeah, and you reap the benefits from it for sure. I'm thinking I've got a punching bag that my neighbor gave me, an old school looking one, like a rocky. You know, you just uh, put it, on, hang it up, it's like that kind of punching bag. Uh, like this punching good. bag yeah. has been through some matches. You know, it's probably trained yeah. some pretty significant biker or bounce boxers. I'll figure out the word today. Biker, bouncer, or boxer? Which one? Yeah. We well, let's just say you got to fight one, fuck one, and marry one. Which one would you do? <laughs> Fuck. Okay, uh, is that a real question? <laughs> Fuck Mary Kill. A biker, Fuck. a boxer, <laughs> and a bouncer. Fuck Mary Kill. Fuck Mary Kill. I fuck Mary and kill all of them. How about that? That's Zen as fuck. I want to tell you That's people who are zen. listeners. Look, I want to say something to our listeners. We're zen as fuck. Zen it's not Zen as fuck. That's not Zen as fuck. It's Zen as fuck if you fuck Mary Kill, dude. Not if it's like in that this. order, in order, what yeah, you fuck, if you marry, Zen, and you kill them. No, I don't know why we I'm got gonna... some. Who's this other person that was just down? Someone just I showed think that up. That was the producer that, that came in. We were, we were produced again. Oh, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say this again. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, you can find us on Google, you can find us pretty much everywhere. Uh, nafpod.com. That is our website. You can sign up for our newsletter. You can uh, subscribe. There's a subs subscribe button on there. You can go there, find your favorite platform to listen to us at. So, um, you know. You can't. No, you you have to. And I'm saying that, like, under duress. Like, they, they should come and subscribe. <laughs> Wait, like, you're under duress not, right now? <laughs> no, no, they are. Like, I'm commandeering your vehicle if I was Wait, a cop. Listen, people. <laughs> Listen. Ah, what the fuck is happening? Listen, people. Listen, people. I want to say this to you. You know, we're out here grinding, grinding. I mean, I'm not even I'm, grinder. He's on grinder, and I'm in the I'm in Canada where it's winter right now, and I'm actually <laughs> outside. Um, I'm outside in a speedo doing this for you so the least you could do is smash they say this smash the subscribe button smash it just fucking like us smash you? that subscribe button smash ladies it. And gentlemen we're going no, places the majority of our listeners are women oh you you guys don't have no clue where we're going <laughs> we're going to fuck town but you, you guys understand something no, you're not. I'm always the mayor. You're like the deputy. That's the just because you deputy. have regular sex. That doesn't even. We need to have an election. We're gonna have it, <gasps> <gasps> folks. We'll be back All right, with more. You know, how about this? Maybe we'll Wait, do an election. Maybe we'll. You know what? Maybe we'll have a vote. People who have made it this far listening to this podcast, let's vote. Who's the mayor of Fucktown? 
Is it me or is it Wayne? Now, you guys write in our email. Is no, I don't know. at gmail.com. Think... <laughs> no, I... I, I agree with you. <laughs> we should have an election, but I really think that we should come up. We should have a campaign. Like this shouldn't just be a just tell us what you think. We should well, I, campaign, it maybe. starts with the people. This is a this is a democracy. No, I get that it starts Dude, with the people. It starts with the but people. You, we've made an announcement that there might be an upcoming election, right for the mayor of Fuck yeah, Down. for the mayor of Fuck Down. I Look, if you're the you fucking know, mayor, I'm the fucking governor. I'm the governor. If you're the mayor. Like, vote Alex Scooby, governor of California. <laughs> he will tell you how it needs to be to protect his OCD. <laughs> uh, All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is episode 20. You guys had fun. You guys had fun. We did. Can I do something before we go? God damn it, Wayne. Can I do something before we go? <laughs> yeah, well, fucking do it. Okay. All right. Well, I just wanted to get, I just wanted to make sure you're okay with it. Listen, you were saying okay. that a lot of our listeners fucking... are ladies. And, and I, yes, I do. Are. Yeah. And I want to say something. Okay. Thousands, nice. of year, thousands of years ago. Thousands of years ago. Somebody decided oh my, that, that men, no, this is a good thing, that men were superior to women. And then we kept this, 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 this facade up for um, thousands of years and what, whatever. Listen, it, it doesn't happen without you. There's only two male species in this world. It's a frog and I think the seahorse that could have babies, right? without you mean they're they're i'm saying that like i just want to say if you ever feel like you are not empowered or if you feel like you are not a a, a fucking queen you need to go stand with your in ego. the mirror <laughs> leave with your ego no you need to stand <laughs> in the mirror you need to stand in the mirror and and you need to say none of this happens without you so I just well, first of all, know. they're they're smarter, they're stronger. We were we know that we Dude, know that they're like smarter and stronger. Every, and they're everything better. and and yeah. men take a fucking page out of the book and stop leading with your ego and lead with a little bit of kindness, man. I'm saying this right now because I really do feel like we're at the end of this pandemic, and I'm saying this now because I really do feel like we have an opportunity to come out of this thing on top. So I'm pushing my agenda. My agenda is to legit just fucking put your ego in the f in in a drawer for a while and just have a good time with life because you're kicking your own ass for no reason. And finally, vote for Wayne Hanna for mayor of Fucktown. God damn it! This is where this is going, you motherfucker. I didn't know that. Wayne, I just threw that. God in there. damn it! You didn't tell me you were gonna do a whole fucking. Whole fucking thing. God damn it.